Understanding why certain phenomena are seen in the sky is often not very easy to do. Let's take, for instance, the situation where across the background of the stars, the planets move from west to east. But now you might say to me, no, hold on, they're actually moving from east to west. Yes, that is true. That is over each day. And that is because the Earth is turning from the west to the east. But if you looked at a planet and followed it night by night, you would see that against the background of the stars, it was moving in an easterly direction. Now, that is what we can expect because that is the direction uh, that they move, that they orbit around the sun. So every now and again what suddenly happens is that planet suddenly turns around and starts coming back in a westward direction. And then shortly after that it turns forward again, moves again in an easterly direction. And this apparent backwards motion, or what we call a retrograde motion, puzzled the ancients who had the belief then that the Earth was at the center of the solar system. And they had all sorts of models to try and incorporate this retrograde motion. So let's think about what causes this retrograde motion. In my recently published book, Astronomy Within Reach, published in uh, June 2012, I address how easily models can help to overcome hours and hours of explanation. Here we have a model which helps to explain retrograde motion. So here we have Earth in its orbit around the Sun. And looking from Earth to, say, for instance, Saturn, against, it would be seen against the background of, say, that star. And as Saturn moved slowly and slowly around in its orbit around the Sun, it would eventually be in the foreground of that star, and then in the foreground of that, anywhere looking from Earth. But now let's see what happens as Earth turns. This pointer is showing the direction in which we are looking. So what is happening is that uh, while this uh, Saturn is moving in this direction, it's moving in front of that star, and then that star, and that star. But all of a sudden, watch what happens. As the Earth moves between the outer planet and the inner planet, you see how the direction, the line of sight, changes. Let's do that again. There we go. Earth now moves between the Sun and Saturn, and the line of sight suddenly changes. And then after that, the planet resumes its apparent eastward motion along the background of the stars. Here we go again. And for a short while, suddenly against the background of the stars, Saturn moves backwards in a retrograde motion. So we can see from the model that it is purely due to Earth's motion around the Sun that it, it seems that the planet is moving backwards against the stars. In fact, the planet has kept on moving very steadily in its orbit around the Sun, and it's only due to our motion that it apparently seems to move backwards. I hope that it helps to explain retrograde motion.